What's his closing argument? That people are too focused on COVID. He said this at one of his rallies. COVID, 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 he's complaining. He's jealous of COVID's media coverage. If he had been focused on COVID from the beginning, cases wouldn't be reaching new record highs across the country this week. And here's Biden. He said, it is what it is. Well, it is what it is because he is who he is. In the spring, the president declared and his voice is commander in chief. He says, commander in chief, he was going to wage war on the virus. Instead, he shrugged, he swaggered, and he surrendered. Now, the president tweeted that this is about November 4th, election day, but this isn't about a date in the political calendar. Although if President Trump does want to talk about dates, there are some he should worry about, like November 14th, when the CDC as of tonight projects up to 247,000 Americans will be dead from this virus, which is another 20,000 Americans dead in the next two and a half weeks. This won't be over on November 4th because death and dying aren't fake news. Now, one person who knows this isn't fake tonight, the Wisconsin Governor Tony Evers, who had a dire warning for people in his state this evening. There's no way to sugarcoat it. We are facing an urgent crisis, and there is an imminent risk to you, your family members, your friends, your neighbors, and the people you care about. President Trump is in Tony Evers' state right now. There he is. See people behind him, the state where the virus is running rampant. Get at the rally in West Salem where the president is as I speak. It's the usual, no social distancing, very few, if any, masks.